anything about God's goodness and mercy. Can we give him some praise? Jesus 
called his name. It was not only calling his name, it was a command for Jesus, for, for Zacchaeus to be clean. If you need to know, Jesus not only knows the name your mama gave you, but Jesus knows the name that is all about what he created you to be. And so when Jesus calls us, Jesus might not call me Marvin, but he might call me preacher in the name of Jesus because he knows what he created me to do. He knows what I'm supposed to be doing in the name of Jesus, and he knows your name too. Amen. You see, I had to go back, and then Jesus, uh, he looked up and he pointed to the kids, he said, come down immediately because I must Go to your house. Yeah, there was a sense of urgency here. You know, you can't take it with, oh, come on, Holy Spirit. Y'all don't pray with me this morning. You see, when Jesus calls, here's what you need to know. There's an urgency to it. He's not just calling you to get on a party line. He's just not calling you so he wants to tweet to it. He's just not calling. There's something he's calling you to do and he needs for you to move right now. Right now. Because, you see, the problem is, I asked the question last week, are you still in the tree? <laughs> Because you see, he calls Zacchaeus who was in the tree, and the Bible says that Zacchaeus moved with urgency. He immediately came down off the tree, and he, he greeted Jesus with joy. You see, we need to make sure that we are not in the tree. Because the tree is the place of complacency. The tree is the place of where you just look and see. The tree is not the place where you do things for God. You have to get down and get on the ground in order to do what God has called you to do. And so this morning, I'm going to preach for just a little while. I'm going to do some kids and then we're going to move on into Philippians 2. But the title of the sermon this morning is, You're Grounded. You're Grounded. Let's pray. Father, speak to your people. I want this word, Lord God, to flow through me. Hallelujah. Directly to the ears of those who are in need. In need of the word, in need of the Savior, in need of encouragement, in need of fuel to help them get through this week to come. Fill your people today, Lord God. We will give you the glory and the honor. Praise. Amen. 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 Jesus knows your name. And here's the thing about your name. See, um, when he calls you by your name, so he might call you teacher. And you might have been a teacher for 40 years. But, but, but he does not call you teacher so that you can teach only in the Anne Arundel County School District or wherever you are. The Bible says he's calling your name for your work in the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 And, and so we, we need to we need to understand. When I was in uh, when I lived in Dallas, I had a radio talk show, and um, I used to send copies to my boys in California, and they could not believe that I was being paid to talk trash on the radio. <laughs> That's basically what I did. It was, it was a sports talk show, and I just. I talked as crazy as I could. It was a, I was in Dallas, and it was an anti-Dallas Cowboys talk show. And I just talked crazy. And they're like, they paying you to do this? I'm like, hey, I was like, having a good time. But what I did not realize is that God was not getting me ready for that. <laughs> God was getting me ready to be comfortable to talk, be comfortable to talk on various situations for this. Because he had called my name. He had called me to this. You see, sometimes he's just getting you ready for something else. Whatever you're doing right now, whatever you're getting out good at, whatever they're paying you for, oh, he's getting you ready to use your gifts and use your skills and use your talent for the betterment of the kingdom of God, for the betterment of the church and your community. I need somebody to say amen. Amen. Talking about today. Yeah. Yeah, it was never really about all of that. It's never really about the world. It was about the kingdom of God. And what the kids did is once he got down from the tree, and, and, and Jesus, Jesus invited himself to dinner. That was a, a little unusual because normally it was the, the, the host of the household that would invite a visitor in, but Jesus invited himself. See, here's what you need to understand. We always think that it was that we found Jesus because we were we were looking, we were struggling, we were in a time that we needed, so we found Jesus. I need for you to understand Jesus found you. Amen. Uh, because that's the way Jesus works. Do you remember when he called his disciples? His disciples weren't running around looking for Jesus. Jesus found them. 
on the Sea of Galilee. They were tending their nets. My Matthew was at the tax school. He found them. He said, follow me. So I need for you to understand. You think you found Jesus, but turn to your neighbor and say, no, no, no. no, no, no. Jesus found you. Jesus found you.
love that never fails. When all else doubts, when all else fails, why don't you try love? Because the Bible says love will never fail. Yeah. We need to be grounded in peace. This is a peace that surpasses all understanding according to John 14 and 27. It's the peace that melts away doubt. It melts away fear. This is the peace that no matter what's going on in your life, if you are grounded in Christ Jesus, everything is going to be all right. This is the peace that no matter what is circling around you, no matter the storm, no matter the wind, no matter the rain, this is God's peace. And if we are grounded in it, we can be proud, we can be bold, we can be courageous because we have the love of Christ. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? We need to be grounded in humility because that's what Jesus did. In Philippians it says, he who being the very nature of God not consider himself equal with God to be something to grasp, but he made himself nothing. And here's what we need to make sure as well, because the, the letter in Philippians 2 that Paul wrote was written to a church, a church that was struggling, a church that was having some difficulties. In fact, it was, it was a church that there were people in the church that thought they were better than other people. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and not only that, but then there were churches that thought they were better than other churches. Yes. Mm -hmm. but, but, but Paul said in Philippians 2 and 3, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourself. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. You see, it didn't make any, any difference uh, about who we are. He, he's saying, look at here, uh, God's going to bless you, but you need to bless others. You have to be, look what Jesus did. Amen. Jesus, who was the king of kings, he decided to come down in humility so that we would understand that we are not better than anybody else, and we have just happened to be blessed. But our blessing is not for us. Our blessing is so that we can bless somebody else. else. Amen. We are blessed indeed to be a blessing. We are grounded in grace, God's unmerited favor. We are grounded in mercy, as the psalm talked about. Mercy, which means that every time we make a mistake, he forgives us anyway. We all fall down, but he helps us get up. All fall short of the glory. Our God is a great God, a God of grace and a God of mercy, and we are also grounded in God's joy. Hallelujah. Are you happy this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Trouble. The Bible says 
Yes, indeed. Gotta have them with you. Nobody should walk out this door without a big old smile on their face in the name of Jesus. You see, we're the ones who smile in the midst of turmoil because we have God on our side. And the Bible says if God is for us, who can be against, against us? Come on, sir. We need to have joy. Thank you. 
Christ is going to ground in, in obedience. See, once you hit the ground and you've had this conversation with Jesus, and Jesus tells you what it is you're supposed to do now, you have a choice. And in all faces, you have a choice of doing what God has called you to do or climbing back up the tree. But if we're grounded, we, we make the choice that we are going to do what God tells us to do, even if we don't want to do it. Amen. And that's the difficult part, because <laughs> I know we all have plans, but uh, Jesus don't really get it. <laughs> I think it's, um, what is it? it's Psalm, it's uh, Proverbs 16. Yeah. Proverbs 16, let me go there, because I want you to know this is not... Me. This is the word. Amen. Proverbs 16 will let you know what I'm talking about. <coughs> to the man, Proverbs 16 and 1, to man belongs the plans of the heart, but from God comes the reply of the tongue. Amen? Amen. Amen. Proverbs 16 and 9, in his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his head. Yes. Huh? See, when you have this conversation with Jesus, it's not a negotiation about what you want to do. Oh, come on. <laughs> it is not saying, this is why I created you, and I've known you since you were in your mother's womb, that I knew you before that. And so this is why I have gifted you, this is why I have called your name, this is why I have placed you where I place you, in the family where you are, in the church where you are, in the job where you are, in the community where you are, I have done this on purpose. It is a divine necessity that you are where you are. The question is, are you going to do what he's called you to do? In the name of Jesus. Are we going to be obedient? It's always funny that uh, <laughs> I've done this title and it's like you're grounding everybody else around you because because, you know, and you're grounded for, for some of us who were mischievous. <laughs> when y'all nice kids. That's <laughs> but, bad. I was not bad. <laughs> I was misunderstood. <laughs>
knock the tree. If you're, if you're in the tree, I, I want to shake that tree for you to come down because you can't, you can't get to your divine destiny in the tree. You can't get to your divine destiny looking down at everybody and waving and everything. No, no, no. God said, I want you on the ground. I need you grounded. And you need to know that you're grounded in God's love, that you're grounded in God's peace, that you're grounded in God's joy, you're grounded in God's humility, and we are grounded in victory. Oh, man, look at here. If you do what God, if you do what God's called you to do, you can't lose. You can't lose. If you wonder why stuff is going on in your life, you don't understand that everything's going bad. Well, maybe. Mm, 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 mm. Quite possibly. Mm, mm. But if you will be grounded and obedient to what God has called you to do, I will, we can do great things. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Individually and collectively. Because collectively as a church, hallelujah, we are we are grounded in all that God has for us. There's no accident. There's no accident that we're all here. We all have these gifts. We all have this anointing. And we're here to do some great things in this community. Amen. It's not always about us. It's always about the church. It's about those who God knows need to know about Jesus. Yes. Amen. And there's a whole lot of people. There's not a lot of people here today. There's a whole lot of people out there who need to know about Jesus. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, it is our it is our opportunity and our job to go out there filled with joy, filled with love, filled with all this. The people look at us like, are you crazy? No, so I'm saved. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saved by his power divine. Hallelujah. And this God can save you too. Stand up on your feet. Give the Lord a hand praise this morning. in Christ Jesus. To be grounded in him and to understand God wants you to succeed. Yes. I mean, I mean God, God you, 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 are, you are God's face on the earth and he wants you to succeed. Yes. But, but, and, and obedience is the key. If you do what he wants you to do, I mean, success will be yours. Joy will be yours. Peace will be yours. Despite everything that's going on around you, we are grounded in Jesus, that makes all the difference in the world. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your inspiration. I ask that you would fill your people up today, Lord God, with your joy and your love. That as we go out into the world, Lord God, it will be seen by everybody who sees us. And they will know there's something different. That is when we'll be able to share the glory of your story. How you have touched us. How you met us and called us down to action. How, Lord God, we came down and we allowed you in. And that changed our lives forever. Help us, Lord God, that we will never forget who we are and whose we are. Never forget our names, our gifts for the kingdom of God. So, Lord God, we thank you today. And we give the glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray for all God's people who agree and believe. Say amen. 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 amen.